stop voting. Hi, my name is Zach Polanski, and I have a problem. I have an obsession with proportional representation. I'm serious, hear me out. I think about it while I'm eating. I think about it when I'm with friends. I particularly think about it when I look at the state of politics in this country. When you thought trust couldn't be eroded anymore, we have a week like we've just had in Westminster. Now, I realize not everyone has the same level of obsession I have. Some people don't think about it at all. But I would say most of the public have that rumbling in their stomach. They think there's something not right about the way this country is run. They might want to, to coin a phrase, take back control. They might even come to rallies on a Saturday about make votes matter. But at the moment, and I'd love this to happen, not everyone wakes up in the morning, smacks their head and goes, what we really need is a system of proportional representation in Westminster. So we need to get people there. We need to get the rest of the country talking about proportional representation. We need to make it as a popular conversation topic as Boris or Brexit, whether you like them or not. And one way we can do this is through persistence, through education, through inspiration. Persistence is easy, you just have to keep turning up. Education, proportional representation is an intuitive system. Natalie was right, we need to stop using the words PR and start talking about fair votes. But really, it's an intuitive idea. It's just about making sure that seats match votes. And as for inspiration, that comes through every conversation we can have. If you're a political activist already and you're on the doorsteps, make sure you're linking whatever people care about to PR. Because we can't make any sustainable change until we have a fair voting system to get us there in the first place. If you're talking to friends or family and they're worried about the state of the NHS, for instance, talk to them about the fact that we need a system that is better than voting for the least worst option. And if you're talking to strangers at bus stops or train stations or wherever you might come across strangers, we need to talk about things like climate meltdown, about the fact that there's wars going on across the world, about the state of our policing, about so many things wrong uh, domestically and internationally. But we can't really have those conversations until we have a fair voting system. Now, it's not a panacea. I'm not going to stand here and pretend that everything will be resolved by fair votes. But until we get fair votes, we can't even really begin to have those conversations. It's a complete facade. We need to open that door, and PR will absolutely be the key. Now, if we want a system that reflects the Britain that we want, that's diverse, that's fair, that's equal, we need a voting system that matches that. If we want a parliament that's as diverse as our country, where it doesn't matter about your ethnic minority, about your sexuality, about your gender, about your disability or otherwise, we need a system that reflects that, and we need a system that moves that forward. So we need to be having those conversations right now. And time won't wait for us. This is a do or die. We need to make this happen now. And the only way we can do that is to stop voting. Or start voting smart. When you're thinking about voting, talk to your candidate. Talk to your elected politician. Find out their stance on proportional representation and lobby them. Whether it's online, whether it's by email, or whether it's in person. Make sure that we know every single candidate's view about whether we deserve their vote. Or rather, whether they deserve our vote. Because really, they're representing us. And if they want to represent us, they need to make sure that we have an equal vote in Parliament. So let's make this change happen. Let's get out there. Let's have these conversations about PR. Let's work for it. Let's be persistent. Let's inspire. Let's educate. Are you with me? Hey! That wasn't inspiring. Are you with me? Yeah! Let's go make PR happen. Let's make votes matter. Thank you.